We begin with an update to breaking news. We first brought you on 2 News Midday. A man suspected of killing a good Samaritan is taken into custody. Police arrested 41-year-old Joe Nevels on suspicion of first-degree murder. 2 News reporter Marla Carter is live at a Midtown Tulsa condo complex to tell us what happened. Karen, police say that Mark Miller was just trying to be a good neighbor. He caught a burglary suspect in the act, and that's when things turned deadly. Whether it was a car alarm or a house alarm, neighbors say Mark Miller was known for being vigilant and acted just that way Monday morning. The guy next door in 04 called the girl that lives in 02 and said, your alarm's going off, can I check your house? And he said, your door's open. And so he called the police and uh, I came out and talked to him for a few minutes and then I saw he had a gun with him. Kate Witt says she went back inside after that, but that was just the beginning. He grabbed a gun, confronted the suspect. Uh, they ended up in the parking lot next door to this apartment. Um, and, and during that uh, encounter, the uh, the suspect took the victim's gun, shot him, and then fled the scene where he was captured by Tulsa police. While police call Miller a good Samaritan, they recommend that you avoid confronting suspects. When you're approaching people, it's never a good idea because oftentimes uh, victims introduce the gun into the situation and this is what can happen. So it's always best to call 911, let the police handle it. Still, DeWitt says it's not the first time Miller has taken action to protect the neighborhood. Went on a trip a few years ago and, and uh, Yes, I left my garage door open. And we got there and he called on the cell phone and said, uh, you left your garage door open. And so he went over and closed it for us. Neighbors say while Miller didn't always have much to say, it's certain what he did made a difference. Real quiet, but just, you know, nice. Like I say, helpful. Now, Nevels was taken to the hospital to be treated for some minor lacerations. After that, he'll be booked into the Tulsa County Jail. Reporting live from Midtown, Marla Carter, 2 News works for you.